Hello everyone, welcome back, Severed is here, coming back with part Who cares of what if Deku was Xiao Now where we last left off, Izuku has found about the truth of something that he really didn't want to know And after going into sleep for the rest of the night, crying himself until he fall into sleep He wake up in the morning But guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below, tell me what do you think will gonna happen in the next part And also my discord down in the description, so let's get right into it as Izuku waking up and after that he got a, you know, someone knocking on his door as he opened it up and said Who's there? As after that he see in front of him Of course a, ra a racer head as Aizawa said uh, Hey Midoriya Come on, the principal Nezu wants you As Izuku said alright And after that he gone with the, of course Aizawa as he just looking down with his hand in his jacket pockets as Aizawa said are you okay, Midoriya? You seem off. As Izuku said, Yeah, everything is okay. Everything is okay. It's not a big problem. Let's just go. And after that, Izuku got into a big room, which is there is a lots of heroes and police officers from all around the world. Specifically America and other places that has been attacked by the darkness. As Izuku seeing a lots of Japan heroes, a lots of American heroes, which is of course a couple of them, uh, they are the Avengers, and some others. And he also see a couple of UA students, specifically the big three and class 1A as Izuku seeing in front of him Bakugo as Bakugo looking at him and coming closer and said, So, you are... <laughs> Look at yourself, you seem awful, as Izuku said, yeah, really awful. So, how's going with you, as Baku said, Tch, don't talk with me. Well, uh, as much as I hate you, I have to admit that you were kinda good. But don't, can't, don't think that I will just gonna stand here waiting while the world of mine will gonna get destroyed. Remember, I will gonna become the next number one hero. And that's why I am here. So, if you thought that you can, just of, uh, after doing all of this, thinking that you will be able to get into UA and become the number one hero, then, as Izuku said, I don't care about being a hero anymore. You can take the number one spot if you want. Even take the two and the third, I don't really care about them. As Baku suddenly eyes whiting and said, what? As Izuku said, yeah, I just want to save the world. So if all what matters to you is the number one place, you can take it. As Izuku just walked past Bakugo, which making Bakugo even angry, seeing that Izuku doesn't care for his complex and his how he wants to be his rival. As after that, Izuku coming closer and standing by his team. Of course, the Storm uh, Warriors and some heroes just looking at Dabi because, you know, he's a villain. In the end, Principal Nezu said, <clears throat> Well, everyone, today we come here together so we gonna fight some problem. A problem that has been going around the world lately. The Darkners. Those creatures that are from all shapes and sizes. First of all, we thought they were some sort of a villain organization, but now... They are a problem, and we need to take care of them. And now we have the help of the Storm Warriors here. Izuku, introduce yourself as everyone looking on Izuku, and of course Spider-Man is there too. As Izuku said, eh, well, I know what to do. As Izuku, you know, in the last night he talked a little bit with Xiao in the end. Xiao told him what he should do and how should he find the portal to close it. As Izuku, after that, he said, we will gonna... <coughs> We will gonna attack the Dark Nars into their places, and after that, we are, the Seven will gonna close the portal once and for all. Alright? That's a simple plan. We only need to open it up, as one of the heroes said, open it up, but isn't that, as Izuku said, yes, dangerous, but we will never be able to close the portals that happening all around the world if we couldn't, do, uh, you know, open one ourselves. Alright? There will gonna be a lots of dark nurse coming out of the portal. So many. I'm talking about millions. So we will gonna need all the help with, that we got. Since there is a lot of heroes from all around the world and the police officers and also the clan that I found under the mountain, it will gonna be such a useful help. We only need to go into a place where net will gonna, you know, there is will not gonna be so much. <coughs> Destruction, as Principal Nezu said, 
well, we talked about this a little bit and I found a place that will gonna be nice to fight. <clears throat> the desert, I'm talking of, about the desert of course, as Izuku said, great, the desert will be a great place. As after that, Izuku said, well, let's go there. As a couple of heroes with the teleportation quirks and Izuku having his own teleportation ability, he, you know, call into Apu Apu and tell him to, of course, <laughs> meet him in the desert. How does he meet him? Izuku just teleported his team into the desert and after that gone back into the, the you know, the underground, uh, you know, village and g put his hand on all the warriors there and just teleported them there. You know, just a simple thing. In the end, Izuku and the police officers, the heroes and of course the clan and everyone is just standing between, you know, uh, you know, between mountains, that's not, you know, the really sand, uh, you know, is not a desert that made out of sand, you know, like a stone place, it's basically a pl an open place, like, whatever, Africa, yes, Africa, as after that, Izuku said, well, alright, now is our turn, as I know, the power of one or two vision users will be enough to open a mirror into the other darkness world, world, but as seven of us will be able to open a portal, alright? As Neko said, but how should we actually use it? Izuku, as Izuku said, easy, we all just have to hold our hands together. And after that, Izuku putting his hand in front of him, and Razor put it on his hand, and everyone just putting their hands together as all of their visions start to glow, and after that, the white light that coming out of their visions turn into black and it shoot into another place as after that right now there is a whole you know black you know, like a black ball in the sky as the ball just smashed downwards and after that the night immediately just came as suddenly the places just change as a giant black dark portal open up while there's a millions upon millions monsters start to come out as Izuku said everyone get ready as after that the monsters suddenly d d stop in their places as Izuku said what's happening and after that suddenly a black smoke coming in front of all the monsters as from the black smoke everyone favorite jester jump out which is basically jester that looking like this come out and said heroes heroes has come finally finally we can be free with everyone else and now i'll be able finally be able to destroy the warriors of the visions <laughs> well izuku or should i call you animal or maybe xiao Anyways, are you ready? Because the showdown is about to begin! As after that, uh, suddenly, <coughs> of course, immediately, Jester just disappeared as the monster continued to attack. And after that, and after that, the monsters start coming out of the portal, going at the police officers and everyone else. As after that, Izuku said, everyone, attack! As after that, monsters from all shapes and sizes, big ones, small ones, fast ones, flying ones, and even skeleton warriors start to come out. And the police officers and all of the other heroes and everyone start smashing into the monsters. This is not a simple fight. This is a war that's happening right now there. As Izuku right now just smashing through a couple of monsters just killing some of them and destroying some others as after that <clears throat> he see a big monster standing in front of his way looking like this as Izuku said <sighs> well this will be such a strong hit and after that Izuku immediately go on the back of the monster as he got on his head and was about to stab him directly through his head with the spear but Immediately after that, the monster heat starts to increase as he blew up with fire, throwing Izuku away. After that, Izuku starts flying in the air, using airwalk, his, you know, own ability. As after that, he gone back on the monster to throw his hit. Immediately, the monster just hitting Izuku with his left hand, throwing him away. As Izuku smashed into the ground, and after that, he coughing some blood as he said, <laughs> Damn it. You think that you will be able to defeat me that easily? As after that, Izuku going back on the monster, and after that, the monster immediately opened his mouth and shooting a beam of fire on Izuku. Izuku immediately dashed into the left as the monster putting his left hand in front of him and shooting a fire out of it as Izuku just jumped up in the air, and after that, dashing behind the monster as he immediately 
stab his spear inside the back of the monster as after that he just <coughs> start throwing some wind inside the monster blowing the monster into pieces as after that he start bleeding heavily saying <sighs> well that was something and after that more monsters start to surround Izuku as Izuku right now standing in the middle of them and said well come at me at once as before they managed to come at Izuku immediately a blue cremation flames engulfing the whole monsters turning them into dust as Izuku looking back he see Dabi as Dabi said don't die on us now you're the leader remember as Izuku said <laughs> Thanks, and after that, Izuku jump in the air immediately, and after that, he see Razor on the ground as he immediately scream on the top of his lungs saying, Razor! As Razor looking back and he see Izuku as he immediately understand what he was trying to say, as Izuku just throwing his spear up in the sky and creating like a... <clears throat> clouds around the place as Razor immediately smash his hand downwards as more electricity start coming out of his body as of course his stand which is I'm gonna fucking call him a stand we all know that Razor is basically a character from Jojo Bizarre Adventure that has been transported into Genshin Impact world we all know that but we all just don't you know don't say the truth we are refusing the truth but I am finally snapped out of it and I'm not gonna refuse the truth Ra Ra Razor is a fucking Jojo character alright as after that his stand I'm gonna call him a stand yes immediately in come out as after that the wolf or the werewolf scream up on the top of his lungs as he putting his hand forward shooting like a beam of electricity up into the sky as after that the electricity engulf the clouds and the heroes start to see the sky start raining and like electricity waves start going down on the ground as it's just smashing into the hair of course into all of the monsters there and after that <coughs> Immediately the sky start to rain with dust from how much dust you know from how much Izuku and Razor has destroyed from Dark Nurse as Izuku jump into the ground putting his hoodie on his head to protect his head you know from the dust as after that he see a clear path into the portal as he immediately start dashing towards us but before he managed to go even further he hear a sound from behind him saying Izuku what where are you going as Izuku said I need to go and close the portal as Razor said we but isn't us isn't all of us need to close the portal as izuku said no yes we need to do that you six stay here all right i'm i'm just gonna go there as after that razor said wait where are you going izuku as izuku said razor just please wait here and make sure that everyone is okay all right as razor said tell me where are you going as izuku looking down and said I need to go there, Razor, as Razor said, why do you want to go into the dark world, Izuku, as Izuku said, this is something that you will never gonna understand, just please leave me go, as Razor said, if you will gonna go there, I will gonna go with you, as Izuku said, no, I'm, you're not coming with me, as Razor said, why, as Izuku said, alright. If you want it this way then so be it as immediately Izuku turned around and immediately shooting a, like a wave of wind on Razor throwing him up in the sky as Mount Lady managed to get hold of Razor and said are you okay as Razor said Izuku as after that Izuku putting on his mask and said live a long life Razor my brother as after that he immediately starts smashing through the monsters going immediately onto the dark portal as Razor was about to go there and go after him but immediately the portal just explode and all of the monsters outside of the portal immediately turn into dust as Razor said Izuku as after that everyone start to celebrate but Razor is just worried as after that Nico coming closer into Razor and said Razor what's happening as Razor said Izuku was inside the portal we need to open it up again as Dabi said sure thing let's open it up as after that everyone getting hold together putting their hands together to open a portal but while that happening on the other side Izuku right now looking at the portal while it's closed and after that he just looking down and he you know just put his hand on his face taking off his mask as he looking on the mask and start crying as he's just smiling saying it was really nice knowing them and knowing you too Xiao as Xiao said it was an honor 
to be with you, conqueror of demons. As after that, Izuku said, <laughs> Well then, let's fight into our last breath. As Izuku putting back the mask on his face and holding his spear as he looking back, seeing a thousand upon thousand of millions of monsters just getting ready to go. All on Izuku as Izuku said, Come at me! Come at me at once! As after that, Izuku starts smashing left and right through the monster, not leaving anyone, killing as much as he possibly can, throwing as much as wind he could possibly do, and stab as much monster as he could possibly stab. As after that, on the other side, Razor and everyone else has putting their hands together as after that like a mirror opened between the worlds as Razor said all right let's see where is Izuku and after that the dark portal start to clean up as after that Razor looking through the you know like the glass as he see on the other side Jester just smiling at him as Razor said Jester where is Izuku as Jester just chuckling to himself putting his hands back you know behind his back as Razor said tell me where is Izuku as after that just start ch start chuckling to himself a little bit more and more <laughs> and after that immediately Razor said you know just putting his hands in front of him as after that Razor eyes whiting as he see Jester holding the half broken and the bloody mask of Izuku and after that he just looking directly into Razor eyes as the portal just closed and after that Razor just said what what this can't be no this can't be as he just fall on his knees and said no no this can't be open another portal as after that everyone you know just looking on razor as razor said what are you waiting for let's open another one as after that he, immediately everyone just putting their hands together as razor opening another one as after that behind, when the other side of the portal just Jester still standing holding the broken mask of Izuku as Razor immediately starts using his power creating his werewolf starts smashing on the portal telling it to open up screaming on the top of his lungs saying open up open up let me go in let me go in this can't be happening please let me go in as after that Jester just looking on Razor and said he's dead <laughs> maybe we are lost but at least I managed to kill some of you as after that the portal immediately closed as Razor on the ground just crying saying no please no why is this happening no that's why he was telling me he, he hided this from me why did you do this idiot 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 stupid idiot idiot as after that everyone just crying Neko and Ibora just crying while Dab is just looking away and everyone's so sad as after that this is what I'm getting it off guys this is the end of the series Izuku's secret was that Spamton told him that on the other side of the phone that it was a recording message telling him that he was trying to help him to free him from his chains so he can possibly be the one that closing the portal from inside but in the end things doesn't go right as it Spamton wanted to go as Izuku after that knowing that someone need to close the portal from inside so the darkness can't go out anymore he decided to do it by himself not telling everyone so no one will get worried about him and this is the end of the series guys I hope that you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it well, I have nothing more to say than Severed was here.